So we at the Z Lab here at the Computex 2011. So what are you showing? Hi, uh, so my name is Tim Lewis, I'm from Z Labs. Uh, what we're showing is our recently announced uh, ZMS20, which is a dual Cortex A9 processor plus our stem cell media processing array. And it's that stem cell media processing array that does all the heavy lifting for the media processing. That means we're capable of things like uh, H.264, uh, high profile video content at up to 40 megabits per second. And it's also that core or array of cores that does the uh, OpenGL ES 2.0 acceleration, 2D acceleration image processing. So we also announced that we, in addition to our chips, have a range of Jaguar reference platforms. So we're very much focused on the Android tablet space. So one of the things we're showing here at Computex this year is our VP8 decoder. This is 720p uh, video content using the new VP8 codec. And one of the advantages of the stem cell media core is it's fully programmable, which means that VP8 for us is just another uh, video decoder that we can program up to run on the core. One of the other demonstrations we have... Is that real, and real Honeycomb or is it just a no, video of Honeycomb? No, this is Android 3.0 running on our uh, ZMS20. And what this demo is, is because we have a programmable core, this is showing uh, the image from a camera uh, being enhanced using the OpenCL fully programmable um, oh, shape that's awesome. techniques. So we can take uh, the image from the camera and use uh, OpenCL, which is a Kronos industry standard for programming um, parallel uh, architectures, and do very advanced image processing techniques. Does, does that mean uh, the, the what you call it the the stem cell yep. is it is for video kind of stuff, but it can also be for other stuff? It's, it can be for anything. So it's for anything that uh, we, we have a very high performance uh, 26 gigaflop stem cell array here. Yeah. So this array is 48 separate cores, and we program those up to provide industry standard libraries. But as a developer, yeah. if you want to um, create your own uh, applications that tap into that acceleration, you can do that via the OpenCL um, yeah, no problem. All right, so 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 basically, it's like a supercomputer in your in your mobile device a little bit. E exactly, and we also announced the ZMS40, which actually has four A9 cores and 96 processing elements. So we're doubling the performance in our unmax generation as well. So quad core, but you're not actually having that in the devices yet, right? Yes. Yeah, so the quad core, that's what we're seeing here. ZMS20 is, is, is the quad. Is, is, is the dual core. Dual core, yeah. Dual core with the 48 stem cell processors, and. Uh, the quad core is coming uh, in Q3. So there's a honeycomb there, and yeah. is it smooth, or what do you need to do? To no, a honeycomb is pretty smooth. I mean, there's always work to do, but uh, you know, we're able to show uh, on another unit. We have so this is so we have a pretty good robust implementation of Android 3.0 on our core already. Is it fully optimized or you have still have some stuff you can optimize? Uh, there's, in software there's always work you can do to optimize but I think this is pretty much uh, production quality. 3.1 or 3.0 right now? Uh, we're showing 3.0 but 3.1 is what we'll productize around. And uh, so when did you announce these? these? So the ZMS20 was announced uh, about three weeks ago, and the Jaguar reference platforms are, uh, were announced just before Computex. So with our reference platforms, so what we can give our OEM and ODM customers is a complete solution where they can take a, a well-defined uh, motherboard that integrates all the high-speed um, parts of uh, an Android tablet in a simple motherboard and then they can configure the IOs for different LCDs, different IO boards for different um, uh, ID designs. We also have a design that has mini PCI so they can put third party modems in there uh, and change the cameras, front and rear cameras to suit their requirements. But the main thing is that the core motherboard concept is something that we uh, can offer our ODM customers so they can take Android tablets 7 and 10 inch designs to market very quickly using our Android software. Are you going to be in phones? Uh, we're really targeting the tablet space at the moment, so that's our kind of core, core focus. So how long time does it take before people can buy these? Uh... We're expecting to have customers shipping in the September time frame. September? Yeah. And uh, so could you say a little bit, just to explain a little bit, uh, 
the idea of stem cell compared to perhaps so the, competition? Okay, so the stem cell architecture is based on the fact that we use a reprogrammable core. Um, so, like stem cells, they can uh, they're fundamental uh, parts that can then develop into a specialised function. And the same with this programmable core. So each core can be a H.264 uh, video encoder, H.264 decoder. It can then sort of transform itself into being a VP8 decoder, doing OpenGL programming, doing image processing. So it just really means that each of these sort of general purpose cores can become a very specialist core when it's asked to do so by, by the system. Is it in any way uh, related with the idea of the, the, the cell processor that was run out? Uh, it, it's an array of computational units, so in a sense, yes, it, it's a parallel, or it's a SIMD uh, engine. So and how does it compare with the DSPs or yeah. GPUs? It's similar to a GPU. Our background is from 3D graphics, so as we before we were Z-Labs, we were 3D Labs, and so we learn a lot doing programmable 3D graphics about to do very high computational units that had uh, full floating point capabilities. So that, that experience lent itself to making programmable units that could also, you know, improve, instead of just doing 3D graphics, could also do video encode, decode, 2D graphics, etc. Do you announce the, no the number of polygons or what do you call it, the triangles and all that? Um, there are figures, I can't remember them off yeah. the top of my head, I'm but afraid, but yeah, we're, we're, we're a, it, a million pixel. Is it comparable eventually Sorry. with something like a, a PlayStation 3 consoles or Xbox, or when does it get there? I think the one thing about 3D performance numbers is they're very difficult to tie down, so it's really application performance that's important. Um, so we have a one gigapixel fill rate, uh, but it's really how that turns out as, as a games platform, and I think that's what we'll be sort of demonstrating in our next set of... Um, announcements is, is our 3D performance. All right. Thanks a lot. Uh, okay. Are you, are you good? So 1.5 gigahertz, is it going to go up 2 gigahertz? I, certainly, I, see, I don't see CPU uh, speeds going down. So yeah, it's only on the roadmap.